What's up, guys? Welcome back to this episode of NFT Gems from Token Metrics. I'm your host, Chase Allred. With me is Jacob Koch Gallup, my co host. How are we doing, Jacob? I'm doing well. How are you? Great, great. Ready to uh, get into these NFTs of the week, the best ones we scored this week. I think we got some pretty good ones. How about you? Yep, I think so. I mean, after going through so many, we, we, we the best came on top. Yep, yep, that's absolutely right. A little bit about this week. Jacob and I actually had just got out of our Token Metrics virtual summit. It was great to interact with the team. Uh, funny story, we actually had a Scriblio contest to win $250. Jacob and I were in the last three. We came in third and second, respectively. Jacob came in second, I came in third. Um, and we lost to our good friend Zach in marketing. But I think that says something about the NFT market that uh, we're learning. We're learning a thing or two about art and we're able to identify what that is. If you guys have like a work happy hour, I totally recommend playing Scribbly out. It's a ton of fun. Yep, definitely. I think we can get right into it. I can share my first project. Let me share my screen and take it away. Um, yeah, this is called this is called Gutter Cat Gang. So if you've been in the NFT market for a while, you've probably heard of this. This minted in June of 2021. But as you can see, it's kind of has a has a gang feel to it with these cute cartoon animals. This was the first in Genesis collection was gutter cats with 3000 on the Ethereum blockchain. And then you can see they've made so many after that. You have gutter rats, gutter pigeons, gutter dogs, gutter juice, which is actually new and gutter clones, which is comes from the gutter juice. So we can click more info at the gutter juice and see what they are. So the gutter juice NFTs are vials that consist of DNA collected from every other gut gutter city in inhabitant. Um, you can put the gutter juice into a clone machine to create gutter clones. Um, these, so essentially there's going to be 28, 000, there's 28,000 gutter juices, which can make 28,000 clones. You can either put in the, in the clone machine a gutter juice along with a specific gutter city inhabitants. You could put a gutter juice vial and a gutter cat or a gutter rat, gutter pigeon, and then you'll get that exact animal. Or you can just put in the gutter juice and you, it's kind of randomized uh, to get a randomized clone. They just announced today, uh, April 6th, the gutter clone species two, which is dropping on April 14th, 2022. And what I love about this project and what we love here as NFT analysts at Token Metrics is utility. So let's get right into the utility of Gutter Cat Gang. So first of all, you have airdrops. As you saw, there were so many other NFT projects that went along with it. The Gutter Rats, Gutter Pigeons, Gutter Dogs. So those were all through airdrops. I'm we glad you're Dow. talking about this after yeah. they've actually had airdrops because there's a lot of promised airdrops and a lot of <laughs> apparently they some things just never like to fall out of the sky they just stay yeah. in the air exactly. the whole time <laughs> I, I i think that's one good thing about covering nft projects almost a year after they've minted because they've actually been able to execute on their roadmap i think it might in the future we might revisit some of the old projects that we covered that scored well to see if they were actually able to execute well and hopefully the floor price is up since since we last uh, reviewed it but anyway yeah we can move on and look at the dow so the dow the gutter the 3000 gutter cats are a part of a dow uh, which was seeded with an initial 500,000 US dollars used for community led projects and initiatives that only the gutter cat gang holders had access to the next we had the merch. I liked the one cool thing with the merch is they had NFTs of these little hats and you could redeem the hats. And by redeeming it, that would then burn that NFT and send a physical merch box, which included hats, a t-shirt and uh, hoodies. You can see the hat here. There's a shirt, hoodies, 
which I, I think are pretty cool. So yeah, I, I do like that feature, that extra utility of burning that merch NFT in order to get your merch drop. They've done uh, obviously community events where they have parties, IRL parties, there's collaborations. We can take a look at that. They've collaborated with uh, Diamond Supply Co., which is kind of a popular streetwear brand. Metaverses, that's something cool. Also, they've collaborated with the Sandbox, Gut Gutterverse and House of Kibba, Gutterville and Frogland's New Pangea and more. So they've already established themselves in many metaverses and also have voxel versions for the Sandbox and ARV already 3D models. Now we can take a look at the team. Uh, the team is doxed. However, their full, their full names aren't doxed. So this is all we can see here. Mitch, Rick, Dan, and Carly. I went in their Discord and said, hey, where can I find more information about the team? What do we know about the team? I didn't get much answer. There's no facts. There's no about page about the, the, the founders. However, I did see a video, an IRL video of Dan, one of the co-founders. So obviously his face is out there. He was talking. So he is doxxed. However, we don't know his full name. So um, they didn't score greatly on the team since they are not doxxed. However, there's a decent amount of them. There's four or five of them. There's some advisors. And yeah, so we, I, I, another cool thing about uh, the Gutter Cat Gang website is they actually have an analytics tab. So we can take a look at the analytics tab for the Gutter Cat Gang. Um, we can see a year of sales since uh, May 31st all the way to March 31st. We can look at the largest sales, 58.88 ETH, um, recent transactions, top owners. We can take a look at their OpenSea. Uh, currently, it has a floor price of 7.57 with 21,000 ETH volume traded. One thing to note is as I was looking at this earlier today and just opening up their OpenSea, I saw that the floor price was 6.66. And then as I was getting ready to record this video with my colleague Chase, I saw the floor price was 7.57. I'm like, wait a minute, it went up almost an ETH in about an hour. And then as you can see here, this gutter cat gang number 2928 was last sold for 6.66. So that means someone scooped it up off the floor for point for 6.66. They probably saw that the next one was selling for 7.75. They now listed it at 7.57. So they must have just had their eye on that, saw it was cheap, scooped it up. And now if they are able to sell it for floor price, which is the most liquid part of an NFT collection are the floor price assets. They're going to make about one Ethereum or $3,300, um, not including all the gas fees and transactions. But I thought that was something cool to note is that I kind of saw a flip happen in real time. This project scored an 80%, very large community, team decent, utility scored very well. As you saw, there was a lot of utility. There's a lot of smart money followers and there's high profile investors such as comedian Tim Dillon, uh, rapper Ja Rule, rapper Snoop Dogg, NBA player Ben Simmons, which caused large network effect. So yeah, definitely a cool project, definitely an old project, but obviously they're um, coming out with the gutter clone species two on April 14th, 2022. So they're still working on their roadmap. So definitely a great project to follow. And I can pass it over to Chase, and he can tell us about his project of this week. I see the uh, the guy that just sold for six point six six ETH has the Donald Trump hair. It's, oh uh, yeah, <laughs> very true. Uh, I, I won't make any comments about <laughs> about that, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's get into ten K T F. That is my NFT of the week. Uh, it's by we knew labs dot X, Y, Z. So we knew labs is actually co-founded by people and a guy named a man or a guy named guy O'Siri. So guy O'Siri has been one of the biggest managers in the entertainment industry for quite some time. Now he manages Madonna, U2, uh, the red hot chili peppers as of recently, and in 2021, he signed Yuga Labs for representation, which is a big part of the reason for the partnership that I'm about to get into. So what is 10KTF? 10KTF is the home of Wagmi-san, a fictional character, a fictional artisan 
who will take your parent NFT. Uh, there's a there's a number of collections available. I'll share those in a second. Uh, that include Board Ape, Mutant Ape, Board Ape Kennel Club. Basically, you can take your board ape and you can take it, you can take him to Wagme San and he can make you special virtual backpacks, flat brims, high top socks, different accessories that show off your board ape. So you could take your board ape backpack into the metaverse. If you're not using your board ape avatar in the metaverse, you might be wearing the backpack. Your avatar might be wearing this backpack. Uh, so say you have board ape number 1113, you can only mint one of each type for number 1113. So basically there's only one backpack that exists for board ape number 1113, just as there's only one board ape number 1113. The team at We New Labs is absolutely stellar. Uh, like I said, Guy, they have experience at Facebook, Walmart. I mean, Beeple is, <laughs> he's Beeple. He's obviously a stud. If we want to look back at the projects that can actually be, they're called, they're referred to as parent NFTs. Jacob, if you could go back to the 10K TF site real fast and yeah. click on what parent NFT collections are available under the FAQ. So, as you can see, there's some major blue chips on here. Bo Zero in one force, Board Ape Kennel Club, Board Ape Yacht Club, Cool Cats, Cryptodes, Gutter Cat Gang. <laughs> there you go. Mutant Ape, Pudgy Penguin, Forgotten Runes, Wizard Colt, Wolf Gang, and World of Women. I mean, that's at least five of the top 10 NFT collections out there. You could definitely make the argument. So the partnerships are off the hook. We knew Labs has worked with Gucci, Louis Vuitton on NFT collections. So if we go back to We knew, this is another work of if you scroll up a bit to where he works with Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Uh yeah, here we go. So Alessandro Michelle or excuse me, Gucci. It was Gucci. Uh, Al Alessandro Michel is a designer for Gucci, and he's basically going to take your NFTs with Wagmi San and create Gucci inspired board apes and Gucci inspired world of women PFPs, Gucci inspired cryptodes, whatever it may be. Uh, I thought that was really interesting. Those currently have a floor price of one to one and a half ETH. So that's why we're bullish on 10K TF here. They are gonna eventually run out of NFTs for these projects. They might partner with new projects down the road, but if you hold, you might not hold the board Ape, but holding the board Ape to uh, board Ape number, 5,000, holding the backpack for board, board Ape number 5,000. I would liken that to holding the justinbieber.eth or justinbieber.com domain name. Uh, you know, some, some board Ape holder down the road might really want that and they might be willing to pay you a pretty penny for it. So that's something that's speculative, but also I could definitely see happening if you were to collect all the accessories for specific board ape not to mention uh wagmi san has expressed interest in going beyond the metaverse uh, or not purely digital uh so possibly we could see these backpacks these socks these hats come to the physical world and that's something i would obviously welcome i'd be very excited to see we see this Big world here on the 10K TF site. I see a ON1. I see some cats over there. Clearly, by the looks of it, it looks like there's going to be additional links to go to. If you are a holder of 10K TF, you're able to go to the back alley, which what happens in there is for, you know, holders to know and for us to find out. So basically, if you're not holding one, you don't have access. That's kind of where the community gathers. I would liken that to the uh, the bathroom, the OG bathroom of the Board Ape Yacht Club, where people could 
graffiti on the wall, spray paint virtual graffiti. So they're definitely following a lot of very similar steps on the roadmap to projects that have already been popular and have already done well. It's a, you know, it's a risk copying people, but also you want to follow the blueprint of the people who have done it best. And Bored Apes has done it best. Again, there's already very close ties there with Guy Osiri and Yuga Labs. So I expect these two to continue to integrate and be partnered down the line for the foreseeable future. That's about all I have. One quick note about Weenu, they have some crazy partnerships, if you can go back to that. Also some really, really solid investors that are going to try to help keep this thing afloat. Alameda, Animoca Brands, Digital Currency Group, FTX, Polygon Ventures. Coin, yeah. Coinbase Ventures. Coinbase Ventures, yeah. So definitely some elite A-list VCs on that list. And then also their partners. You go, I believe it's up on this website. Yeah. Endeavor, IMG, Universal Music Group, Time, or Time Magazine, Warner Music Group. So this is all through, you know, Beeple, Gaio Siri. That's, that's what happens when you have these high profile people. You're able to have incredible, incredible connections to a project. And it's going to really help with outreach and network effects. 10K TF, before I forget, scored a 75%. They crushed it on their team. They did. Innovation was about an eight. Utility was about a seven. I would like to see maybe some physical items or some more utility being added, some more, you know, features, whatever, whatever is going to happen on this map could definitely add to the utility. But yeah, I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see what happens with this project. Uh, I'll definitely be watching it very closely. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you all for staying and listening to us. If you've made it this far through the video, you might as well hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. Comment down below what blockchains you want to see us score NFTs on, what NFT projects you want us to score on, and any other suggestions or comments you have. We'd love to read through them and hear from our viewers. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week.